I want to just briefly go over matrices um, quickly because um, how we handle them is a little bit different from, for instance, uh, MATLAB. So if I want to just define a, a zero matrix, so let's just say uh, three by three, uh, I can do that. Or um, another thing that you can do is you can define it using notation like this, where you define each row. Like that. So here's something that is, is perhaps a little different than what you might be used to, and that is that if I do A of 1, just a single index, it's going to give me the first row as a list, because all a matrix is in Math Studio is a list of lists. And when those lists are all the same size, it interprets it as a matrix and allows you to, to do use matrix multiplication. So for instance, <clears throat> I can form another matrix using the rows, say uh, two copies of the first row and then the second row, and that will be interpreted as a matrix. But for instance, if I were to, <clears throat> excuse me, say, you know, define a list of lists of different sizes, well then it's going to be interpreted as a list of lists, but it's not a matrix. So another thing that uh, came up before is how do you access for instance all columns in a matrix. So for instance in, in MATLAB you would do something like uh, a colon with to get all of the um, all of the columns in row one is how I usually think about it. And so what we've done is instead of this colon we'll do the word all. And so if we want all of the rows in column one we get that. So re remember that <clears throat> our matrix A was was defined up here 147 like that and of course you can do indexing by by 2 so uh, a of 2 comma 3 gives you 6 um, and let's see, a of 1 colon 3 comma 2 colon 3 that gives you uh, what you would expect as well using MATLAB notation so, and then there are lots of other functions that you can employ that take matrices as input. Um, but in particular, if I do A times A, that works. But again, note that if I try to do A times B, well, B is not a matrix. So it's not going to be able to, um, the matrix operation, or sorry, the multiplication operation isn't defined for a matrix um, and a, a, a list of lists of this size. So if you ever get an output similar to this, there's probably something up with uh, the dimensions uh, of your matrices or lists.